Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing some ideas that I have had about writing my own musical. So let me introduce myself. I'm Gary and I'm the guy behind Anderson Music. A lot of you have been following and have been subscribed to my channel for quite a long time now and I'm really grateful for that. And I just want to say a big thank you for getting me to 1000 subscribers before the Christmas break. So I really do appreciate it and a big thank you. So in this video, I wanted to share some ideas that I have had for my own musical. I've been creating tracks for other people's musicals for going on five plus years now. And I absolutely love doing it because musicals is a big passion of mine. But for over a year now, I've wanted to create my own musical. And I've decided that 2023 is the year that I'm actually going to start doing it. It's going to take longer than a year, I would think. But I've never written a musical before. So I want to document this process because I don't think, I, actually I don't think there really is a process to write a musical. I would imagine everyone has their own different take on how to do it. So I thought, I have a YouTube channel, I love musicals, why don't I document the writing process? It could totally fail and come to nothing, or it could become the next big thing. Who knows, but I've decided 2023 is the year that I'm going to write my own musical. So I'm going to go through three ideas that I have for musicals. So the first idea that I had was one about the Clyde Bank Blitz. So this is a very rarely discussed topic in history because most of the time when we're talking about the Blitz, most people would think of London. But during the Blitz, many other cities and towns in the UK were also blitzed, and one of them was Clyde Bank. Now, Clyde Bank is a town in the central belt of Scotland. It's about 80 miles from where I live. And it was quite an important town during the Blitz and during the Second World War. So it was blitzed over two nights in March 1941 and over that time over those two nights 1,200 people died sorry about my handwriting so 1,200 people were killed 1,000 people were injured and there were a lot of key industries that were important to the war effort at Clyde Bank and they were severely damaged. So you had, there were shipyards, there was munitions factories, all that sort of key infrastructure to the war effort. And I thought this would be quite an interesting one. There are not a lot of musicals that are set in Scotland and with Clyde Bank being very rarely discussed. I thought this could be quite an interesting topic to explore because not many people will know about it. And the music that could be used, we're talking there's going to be swing music and big band music, so the likes of Glenn Miller type music. As well as with it being set in Scotland, you can have your traditional Scottish music so you could have swing and big band kind of mix with Scottish music and it could be quite an interesting concept. So that's idea number one. Idea number two is an idea of a musical called Faithfully. So this one <clears throat> would be more of your traditional love story. But I was kind of going down the route of it. It could be a love story between a 
man who is in the closet. And an openly gay man. And it could be centered around the street, the closeted guy's internal struggle to actually understand and deal with the feelings he's feeling about this other man. And it could be a happy ending, it could be a sad ending, it could be a tragic ending. But my thought was the music, musical style could be more of that indie singer-songwriter kind of vibe because I'm thinking one of the characters could be a songwriter or a struggling artist or something like that these ideas which are the one I decide to go with I will storyboard and actually get a proper story put together but that's the kind of thing I was thinking of and the idea came to me when I was listening to Faithfully by Journey and I don't know I just kind of the story in that song I kind of liked. The last idea that I have is a musical about the massacre of Glencoe. So the massacre of Glencoe happened in the 1600s or the 1500s, I'm not entirely certain, but I do remember getting taught it at school. And during the massacre, so it happened at a place near Invergarry, up in the Highlands, I used to live near there, 30 members <clears throat> of the MacDonald clan the MacDonald clan Ooh, look at that, I can't write today <clears throat> Sorry, you'll have to forgive me, I am dyslexic, so my handwriting and spelling are not brilliant. So they, these 30 members of the MacDonald clan were massacred because they failed, well it's alleged that they failed to pledge their allegiance to the new monarchs, which was William and Mary, King William and Mary. And there was a whole, like, there was a whole load of events that led up to it with different members of different clans coming and saying you need to pledge your allegiance to the new monarchy. So it would be quite an interesting story to follow. And I think this one would absolutely have to use music that was a traditional Scottish style. Which I'm on the fence about whether it should include a bag pipe, the bagpipes or or not. I think it you would have to include the bagpipes at some point, but having it as one of the key instruments in the pit, I don't think would be a good idea because as much as I love pipe music and the bagpipes as an instrument in a confined space it can be quite a, not a very, it's, n it's not a very, it's not an instrument I would use in a musical theatre. So, but I'm quite, I'm quite liking them. All of these would be done quite respectfully, especially the two historical ones because that would be dealing with real people and their lives, but those are three ideas that I've got. So those are my ideas. I'm more drawn towards the Clyde Bank or the Massacre of Glencoe ones, but I would like to hear your ideas and thoughts. Like I said, I'm thinking of documenting the process. So from these ideas to picking which one and storyboarding them and researching if it's a historic, one of the historical ones, researching the actual history and deciding how to put all the elements into an order and then going through the writing of the script process and the composing the songs. 
I think it could be quite an interesting series to follow. Because it could give us all a better insight into how musicals are actually put together and the amount of elements and effort that's put into creating something that we all love would be a very interesting process to follow. So let me know what you think of the ideas as well as which of the ideas you like and if you think this is something that should be followed and do you think I should even attempt to write a musical? So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.